Hi everyone, the following video is going to show you how to insert an image in the Dreamweaver. Very, very easy to do. However, it's also the one place where most students have problems. Why do they have a problem? They upload their website to the, to, you know, the internet via FTP or however they want to upload and none of their images show up correctly. They're all broken. Why? Images aren't attached to the website. They don't just come with it, like in PowerPoint. You know, all your images are in PowerPoint. It doesn't work that way. Um, when you upload your web page, you need to upload your images as well. You also need to make sure it's in the same file structure. So, usually before I upload an image to my site, I make sure it's in the same folder as my site on my desktop. That way everything's together already. All right, so to insert an image, I'm going to go to File, or I'm going to go to Insert, Image, I'm going to find an image. I found a JPEG here. I found my image. I can look at it. I'm actually going to change my view a little bit. I'm just going to go to view mode. Uh, no, actually, you know what? Let's keep it here because I want to be able to look at the code as well. Okay, so what you see now is you can see that I've inserted my image. You can see my image's name with some really long thing. It automatically puts the width and height in. Now, I can choose to change that width and, width and height. Obviously, it's going to look a little pixelated right now, crunched up. But what I want you to remember is when changing the size of an image, it doesn't change the actual, you know, how many, how large of a file size the image is. So even though I've changed the way it looks, it looks smaller on the page here, the file size has not changed. General rule of thumb, if you're going to change an image size in Dreamweaver, you should have done it in Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, use a free web editor like Pixlr. But I do not recommend changing the file size in Dreamweaver, or the, the actual image size on the screen, because the file size stays the same. So I don't recommend that. Next, you're going to see something called the Alt tag that Dreamweaver has automatically added, and two parentheses. You can enter text in there. The Alt tag is for 508 compliance, or what that means is someone who has a disability for accessibility. So an alt tag is me describing the picture. So I can add a description in there, like me walking with my son. And so what that means, if someone had a screen reader, they would see that it was me walking with my son because they wouldn't be able to see the picture. And that's how you insert images in the Dreamweaver in the basic image properties. Thank you. Bye.